Hey friends, today I made banana bread using just a cookie mix and I roasted some seeds from some sunflower seeds from my garden. Here's how that went. Okay, so I harvested these yesterday and the purple ones today. I think I'm gonna roast these ones and wait till these ones turn more black. All right, I stuck them in the oven. I've got it on 350, I'm gonna try 20 minutes. Today I have some bananas that are going old and I have uh, some cookie mix. You see, I wanna make banana bread and I wanna make cookies, but I don't wanna buy any extra ingredients. I also don't like that when you make cookies, you have to use oil. So here's what I'm thinking. Instead of oil, can I use banana? Hmm. For banana bread, I'm missing a couple of ingredients. I'm trying to cook with what I have. Will you come with me and see if this adventure is a good idea or a bad idea? Hi, my name is Deborah, and I'm going to the cafe. Okay, now we're gonna pour in one of these. I put three bananas in. I'm using my Pampered Chef mix and chop and I have my Pampered Chef large mixing bowl. I'm gonna mix it all up. It's the perfect consistency and it tastes good. Wow, I'm amazed. Okay, so this is cake consistency. So basically I'm making banana bread. I'm gonna use this spatula for cleaning out the bowl. This is actually from Pampered Chef. Okay, so here we have my banana cake, I'm gonna call it now. <laughs> I'm not going to be putting frosting, but I will be putting extra sprinkles. These are from Dollar Tree. Great, mark my words, if bananas work as well as butter, I'm not putting butter in cookies anymore. Here we go. My sunflower seeds have two more minutes and then I'll put like 20 minutes probably for the cake. No, 30 minutes probably. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.